So I thought we'd take a couple of minutes just to show you our site here. We are site one at Bahia Onda. I mean, they're not huge sites, but they do offer a pretty significant amount of space, at least a lot of privacy, if anything. And you can see just straight down there is where the, uh, the bridge is. And uh, literally that spot right ahead of us directly out into uh, out into the water so those are hard ones to get but why don't we take you up and look at a couple of the front sites and show you what the other options are here because this by by no means is this the best site here and we can kind of show you which ones you want to try and get into for the uh, for the lottery in order to uh, in order to get the best sites these are every single one of the spots that have the ocean front I guess the golf front access. But um, let me take you down here. I want to show you this down here because these are the ones. These are the prize spots to get. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to get up all up in their business. But um, you can kind of see as you're sitting on the end of this loop what these look like. I mean, literally, you're, you pull up your RV, you are looking right out. You, you, your morning coffee view is the golf and the old railroad car bridge you can walk down the path there is access to the marina right here so if you do bring a boat with you I mean it's just really really close access to where you're camping to where you can put your boat on certain afternoons you will there are a lot of manatees that come around this area so you could be one of the lucky few that get to see one of the manatee visitors the garbage and the dump stations are located at the center of the campground um, right by where you also will see the uh, bathhouse. There is not a sewer hook up here and so then you must you kind of need to watch out what you're doing as far as water and uh, and sewer so we try to keep this little table back here so if anybody does want to shower we can come out and we can do kind of an outside shower um, and then that way we can kind of keep the amount of water that we have coming into our camper outside but I mean really we just we kind of take ocean showers for for the most part right now and um, the bathhouse isn't horrible. It's not great either, but it's not horrible. We thought we would come over here and, oh, there it is, let's get it for her. So this is the book that Sarah's been looking for because she wanted to read it. So we will go ahead and get this to read, yes. So these are some of the deals if you want to go snorkeling, the dockage fee if you want to put a boat here. if you want to rent kayaks and masks and everything else. Just a really nice little gift shop for being inside of a inside of a state park. And look at this is their concession stand over here. We've lost catch, which that's not usually a good thing. And I heard a noise, so catch. We have breakfast, lunch, sandwiches, subs. Okay, yeah, no, that's not good. That thing is huge. Don't, you are gonna knock something over. Go ahead and put it back, please. Careful, careful. We've got some nice shirts in here. Nice. Thank you, Lou. Oh, you just dumped the whole thing over, buddy. Go pick it up, please, and put it back. Oh, he's a nightmare. One five-year-old for sale. If anybody is looking at uh, expanding their family and wants a five-year-old, I'm pretty sure we can get rid of them cheap. Sorry, yes. We don't allow filming in oh, you don't. Filming. No. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I would have loved to have shown you just a little bit more, but we were told that we have to leave. That there's no cameras that are allowed inside of the. We were to the leave. gift shop. We no, 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 no. We were asked just to not, not film. So, not asked to leave. But to say, if we wanted to continue filming, we'd have to leave. So, no, I mean, I, I think we always respect. I mean, I didn't even think to ask, though, just because, I mean, we're going into a gift shop. So, I mean, you would think that they would want and encourage people to, you know, show kind of the cool things because it's a pretty cool gift shop. I mean, we found a, a really cool book that was recommended to us. Um, got a sticker. But, um, no video for us. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, definitely come and visit, but, but if you do, do not bring a camera into that gift shop. Sorry for the wind, I realized I didn't have my battery with me, and <laughs> we went down to this kind of remote junk beach almost. Look what Arliss found. I found two buoys, like yeah. perfect condition. Usually they're all janked up, but they're in perfect condition. Yeah, so 
so we came down here to try and fly the drone and um, I don't know if this was a good area to do it. I don't, I don't even know if we're supposed to be doing it so I didn't want to spend too much time hanging out down here but I've got some great drone footage and um, you know hopefully we'll uh, you know be able to put that up and let's get out of here before the rangers come and get us. Yeah. He's walking in the wrong direction because that's over to our place. You got it, buddy. Let's see it. Wow, Lou. Mama. I, Mama, look. This one. I think we got some medication that'll fix that. <laughs> We are at Keys Fishery, and um, I can't remember what what key are we on. Uh, big Pine Key. Yeah, big Pine Key? No, I thought this is a. Uh... Oh well, right now we're on Marathon. That's it. We're on Marathon Key yeah. right now, and um, we uh, we had a bunch of people refer this place to us. Um, I wanted to get Stone Crab, but this is also they're famous. They're world famous for their Reuben sandwiches. So I went ahead. and I'm getting the Reuben, and then Ethan. For some reason, thought that he wanted lobster. I don't know if he if he knows exactly what he's getting into by getting a lobster I've tail. Been to red lobster many a time. Okay, so sit back. This is going to be fun to watch him once he sees exactly what he's ordered. But you know, sometimes you just have to you have to dive in in order to learn, right? This is the the non the non seafood eating part of our family. Lucy small meter going them up. Sierra. A two. Ooh, out of ten. a two. So, this is the highlight. I, I've been wanting good seafood, and this place has it. There you go. Good seafood is not cheap. Cheap seafood is not good. So, we're at Keys Fishery. We got coconut that this place is definitely off the beaten path. I mean, we had to drive down, I think, a couple of different alleys, and when you pull up, it, it does look... I mean, it, it, it does look adventures and babysitting scary. But, I mean, we're... Uh, we'll, we'll see if we're worth it, because, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but, like, right here... And so during the day, I'm sure that it's really pretty, but I bet you it stinks even more during the day. Yeah. Everybody was walking except for me uh, over in the Bahia Honda by the, the, the pier. As, as they were walking, they looked down and Sarah just happened to see like this mass sitting in the water. And it, it was, like it a, was a, a huge manatee. Yeah. was then, just sitting there staring at her. There was another one. And then another one showed up. I don't know what they're doing here, honestly, because typically the man these maybe, I think, maybe were the dumb manatees. They were cute, but a little, I mean. I just wanted to give them a hug. Because manatees are supposed to go where it's warm. I mean, they're all going up to the hot springs. I mean, just think about these poor two that are sitting in this freezing water right now. And there are these manatees that are just basking in this hot spring somewhere in northern Florida. They've lost their Just come she said your name right too. <laughs> this is what we ordered is the lobster Reuben. You can see that and there I suppose this is world famous. So I'm guessing it's sauerkraut mixed with uh, the uh, lobster and cheese. Mm. And Ethan, these are the lobster tails. No, this is lobster. Oh you should have crab. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, look at that. How much did you pay for that? I am not even gonna tell you. $72. No, this sandwich right here is, is $24. But it is a lot of lobster in here, and it's world famous. Here go. <laughs> oh my man, that is so good. I mean, the lobster it's really buttery, but mixed with the cheese, it's almost like like a grilled cheese from heaven. Okay. So that's lobster. It's amazing. Dad said it's amazing. Can you use some action from Ariel? Give it a stop. Give it a I think, honestly, the watching you eat it is more impressive than your actual recommendation. <laughs> Thought I'd get some interesting car footage. Is it too hot in here? Nope. Yeah, well. No. It's, it's not too hot. Here. Yes. Are you guys ready? I'm hungry. I yeah. don't want to. Let's Alright, well, let's get out. I think if we all stand up there and like look really hungry and pathetic, oh. they'll let us in. Go. <laughs> so I'm gonna begin the hogfish sandwich. Um, Ethan, I think, is doing the shrimp. What are you having, Sarah? I don't know. I haven't said it yet. I haven't had it. This is the weirdest place I think yeah. I've ever done. Now, Ketch has a couple of good options over here. What are you getting, Ketchy? Uh, I'm getting a fish Just and a I'm fish. getting chicken wings. Okay. So, look at this. Oh my goodness, there are fish oh right there. Oh my gosh, there's a fish in. I Wait, know. No, there's more. I know. There's more fishies. 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 Come on. Look at fishies. them down there hanging out. They're just, they're down there hanging out, waiting to be eaten. So we got a mango Mai Tai. Give it a try. Yes, sir. Let's see. Wow. Here you go. 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 <laughs> it's like gasoline. Mm. Okay, here comes the rest of the food. Just chicken? Oh, yep, that's hot. Chicken and chips? Chicken and chips. No. Yep, that's you. Can I sandwich? Yeah. Look at that. Where's my mom made? So you can get the hogfish in three different made? ways. It's right you can get it you, fried, blackened, or what was the other one? Or grilled. Fried, or, or grilled. Um, they said the standard way to get it, the traditional way to get it is to get it grilled. Or I'm sorry, to get it fried. So I got it fried. Catch likes his fish. No, I don't like the fish. Oh, he, he doesn't like the fish. He does? He said he does. I'll take it. They're my night. So it's served on a Cuban roll. Which I think it's fantastic. I love the Cuban bread. Okay. Here we go. And so, this is this is what Ethan got. So it's kind of more of a, a shrimp boil, a shrimp broil. So it's got you know the shrimp. Um, it's got the uh, looks like I don't know if it's sweet potatoes or potatoes. It's like some sausage and some corn. So it looks really good also. See yourself, thumbs up. 
And I know you can't see Lucy, but off here in the corner, she is taking a test right now. So that is the the true beauty of homeschooling, no matter where you're at at any time. I'm not. Well, okay, you, you are you are at in college. You're a college commuter, but you just get to commute from Key West. All right, so you can take the little shrimp things and throw them in, and they love it. Here you go. Can I throw the thing? All right, they do go wild. All right, ready? Here goes. He's going in. He's thinking about it. He's going in. He was like, and look at you. Come on, buddy, go get him, man. So I thought we would walk through the bar really quick on the way out. Just some really cool artifacts as you look, especially some of the pictures as you as you leave. See, so there's Mr. Buffett himself down on Mallory Square. And then the inside of it's kind of cool where they've got, it's almost like an artificial grass. And like you're sitting in its own kind of like tiki hut. We're down in Key West. We are, we found a parking space. That alone right there is sometimes a, a major chore. So we did find this parking space that's central that we didn't have to pay for. Now we're walking down to the lowest point in the US, the buoy. We're gonna get our picture taken there, say hi to the lowest point in the US. And then we're gonna work our way back up to the Hemingway house. So hopefully everything goes as planned. So here we are at the southernmost point. So I think one of the interesting things to know is that at this point you are closer to Cuba than you are to head back to Miami. So we are only 90 miles away from Cuba at this point. And um, so this is, the, you're standing in the southernmost point of the United States of America. How cool is that, right? So I just have to find the rest of our, the rest of our people. Um, there's a big line if you want to get your picture taken in front of it. Um, I think we're pretty much kind of getting our picture and take in front of it right now, so I don't think we have to wait in a big long line, unless you guys want to wait in a big long line. Do you want to wait in a big long line? So yeah, so um, we came, we saw, we accomplished, not much more to see here other than just to see the, uh, the big buoy. I do not know what this is, but I'm gonna, oh, that's the little White House car. How sweet. <laughs> you gotta be careful down here, because you can get wet. You see, it, occasionally uh, water does come up through here. <laughs> so you saw the sunning iguanas down here, just kind of chilling out in the sun. I just think they're just in awe, because this is the southern Epcot is actually here too, if you see over there. I don't know what kind of ride's in there, but I bet it's pretty cool. Gone? Look, he's got iguanas on his shirt. He wore the right shirt today. Dirk, he hey. wore the right, right shirt. You better hope they don't try and grab you as one of their own. Hey, do you see this one with the big tail here? Yes. And there's like wild rooster everywhere here. We've been seeing them all along the street. This one's just sitting on the steps of this restaurant. different tours and they have trolleys and trains. Look at all the people on the train. Okay. Super great. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, so we are at the Hemingway house. Just for future reference, they only take cash. Uh, there is an ATM that is all the way in the back. If you do forget it, they will let one person go in the back to get it. But it's also a three dollar and ninety nine cent fee if you uh, if you do forget your cash. We are at Ernest Hemingway's house waiting for our guided tour, um, and they said explore the garden and there's cats everywhere. 
cats. Do not touch the cats. Do not feed the cats. Catch. They said keep your children beside you. And they looked at me. So uh, I don't know if they thought I was a child or they thought catch was my child because it's awfully confusing. But catch is my mom's child. Look at you see the cats? They're all over the place. Look at it's a cat in a cat house. Yeah, you can't. Why? Why? No, there, there have been small children that have lost their hands in here because of these cats. Well, that's why they said, please don't touch. Uh, we've got Mar looks like Marilyn Monroe, U.S. Lynn, Snowshoes, Gremlin, Hadley Richardson, John Wayne, Edgar Allan Poe, Mr. Betty Davis, Carol Flynn, Tony Bruce, Charlie, Mark Twain, Jimmy Stewart, David Gardner, Ezra Pound, Joan Crawford, James Joyce. So these are all cats' names. One of the big Alrighty, so welcome everybody to the Hemingway House. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be your tour guide for just about 30 minutes, and then afterwards you can explore again at your own pace as well. There is a lot to see, so we do our very best to incorporate both. You're also allowed to take pictures throughout the entire tour, and you can use flash. The only thing you cannot do is take any video, unless you catch me out tonight with a couple margaritas, and then it's game on. It. Everybody, welcome to Duval Street. Don't look too close because you might see everything. If Las Vegas was in the Keys, it would be on Duval Street. So we're on pursuit to try and find a sweatshirt. I think she found one. Let's see what. She's like, I want something colorful. It picks up gray. Well, that I guess is. There's so much color, it turned it gray. What else did we? What else are we getting? I'm getting a sweatshirt too. Oh, you guys are gonna kind of be twinsies. How you nice. You know. Okay, so I'm getting it because mom said I had to because I have to give your sweatshirt back. Well, yeah, that's probably smart. Then Niles is getting a shirt, but it looks very feminine. Look like so. these t-shirts. Okay. So these shirts, like literally, like every other store down here, is this exact same store. Yeah. Well, we tried to hold out as long as we can, which is only a couple of hours, but we've decided that Key West is just too much for us. So we are, we are heading back. It's a long day, and uh, we've got some tired feet. So um, we got some stuff to get ready for leaving tomorrow too. So. We're just gonna get packed and get ready to head home. We got two days of driving, one boondock stay, we don't know exactly where yet, and then one campground in Georgia. So um, maybe have a little bit of footage of that, but if not, uh, hopefully we will uh, see you down the road. Sarah said it best, this is kind of the good, the good rainbow of Key West. It's so pretty. So welcome to Robbie's, where you can get food, you can feed some tarpon, and it is extremely eclectic in here. 
Hey, catch. You hungry, man? Yes. All right, let's go eat. Who's hungry? You gonna put a dollar up? Um, sure. I don't know where. So here we are at breakfast on our last day in the Keys. So sad. They have glazed donuts here. They have what? Glazed donuts. Glazed donuts. Man, they know Ethan's love language. I mean, no, I'm but we're, a donut. it's just amazing just to be able to sit here I and have breakfast. Two donuts. And donuts. that is what we get to see right over there. So then afterwards, I thought it was probably better to eat breakfast first before we feed the tarpon. I don't know if that necessarily is. The smell of fish on your hands. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a couple what's of a, things. What's a cheddar sound? A super cinnamon roll is, I don't know what makes it super, but that's just got me intrigued right now. The glazed donut French toast platter. I mean, come on. Home fries, cheddar scallion hash browns, bacon, sausage, egg, and grilled ham. I mean, holy cow. New York strip. Sit down. With eggs. Do you want a pancake and Avocado bacon? Avocado toast? No, or do you want scrambled? Or you want scrambled? Oh goodness, I'm this is gonna be fun. French Watch the water. He's tripping. Well, no. Hey, guys. Stay there. Oh, my God. I'm scared. I like rolling into the. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, here you go. You want to take your? You want to take one? Yeah. Grab it right there. You like drop it? And then you just drop it right down in there. Can I hold on? No, you. you oh, do that. All right. Now here, do this one right here. There's a big one right there. I'm not, should I do that? No, you don't. You just drop it in there. Here you go. Ready? Alright, this is the last one. Ready? Let's see if they see it. Yeah, that he's scared. Sight the fish. Sight him.